like an uncut. <laughs> Welcome I'm back to like Unplugged and Uncut. It's your boy Unique. Y'all know we got Nefertiri coming up next. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a happy, safe, blessed weekend. Out there, out there. Because Clayton Kershaw was striking everybody out. I'm talking about six Ks. And he only made play five, six innings. Ooh, Dodgers breaking records. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw got the most strikeouts in the postseason ever. How about that? That man was shutting people down. That's how you come back. Tell you that World Series been on point. Sometimes you can't really get into baseball too much, you know. It might put you to sleep. Not enough hits, not enough strikeouts. But this World Series been on point. The Seahawks, the Cardinals. We got to get into some football. Because, man, that game was off the chain. Both teams had time, chances to win. I, You know, you usually don't see Russell Wilson not pull those type of games off. So I'm a little shocked that Kyler Murray got that one in there. That was a great game. Tom Brady was lighting up the Raiders like, ouch. Man, come on. Don't do it to him like that, Tom. Belichick, I don't think Tom Brady washed up. <laughs> he still want to change your quarterback. May because speaking of Belichick and the Patriots, 33-6. to Man, Jimmy Pornstone Garoppolo just put the smack down on them boys. <laughs> 49ers was not playing with them. They had no, no problem shutting poor little Cam Newton down. Man, I feel bad for Cam. He out there running for his life. Gotta get somebody to throw the ball to. I was gonna say trade for Odell Beckham, but man, speaking of Odell Beckham, man, we wanna wish you a speedy recovery. It did come out that he tore his ACL in his left knee. <clears throat> man, so we all hope you get better soon, and yeah, can't wait to see you back on the field like that. Been a hard year for injuries, man. People just get hurt left to right. Show you that preseason a little bit more important than people think. Man, but let's get back to some games. You know, the Chiefs, they beat the Broncos as expected. UFC announcement, you know, Khabib announced that he was retiring. Retiring. <laughs> and that was all of a sudden retiring. My bad job. <laughs> He's retiring. <laughs> I am from the South. But yeah, after 29 wins, that's pretty impressive. But what caught me off guard was John Jones Jr. Firing back about the greatest of all time comments, saying he ain't the greatest of all time because he think he the greatest of all time. <clears throat> I mean, if the man dare retire, I say just put your fist where your mouth is and y'all just go handle the business, you know, just go take it out in the ring. But I guess we won't never get to see no John Jones Jr. Khabib fight to see who the real GOAT is. John Jones got a impressive resume himself, so he do got a little bit of of a point. But the timing of it, you know, I mean, the man just lost his father. Probably could have waited for that for a few months down the line and said, you know what, I feel where y'all coming from, you know. But let's pump the brakes on that goat. I'm still JJJ. <laughs> but yeah, so I ain't mad at him on that one. Just mad at the timing. All right. So that's the news I got for y'all. I'm actually watching Monday Night Football over here. And I'm going to get back to that. And I'm going to let Nepeteria get y'all caught up here. Y'all have a blessed Monday in the map. Hey, good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Getting this day and week started. Ugh, I don't know about y'all, but I am extremely tired this morning. Oh, my Lord. I got to eat my weedy. And in the process of that... Everybody get your vote on. Everybody, everybody get your vote. No, it's fine. But no, for real. You guys got to get out there and vote. I want y'all to vote like Obama was coming back in office. Man, I wish that was an option. I want to write it in on the ballot, but oh well. Okay. Enough about that. So anyway, I just got to realize that I miss girl groups. Where are the groups in music? Like... I grew up on Destiny's Child. I love me some TLC, some Salt, Pepper, SWV, Escape, all of them. Man, some Brown Eyes, some Soldier, 
I get so weak. Man, those were the beats back in the day. Like, I don't know, I miss girl groups. It's always a shame, like, oh, even like the Danity Canes of the generation, they never work out. And mentioning girl groups, I gotta mention boy groups. Like, everybody that I grew up with was down with some B2K. We even tried to dance like B2K back in the day. Like, Jay Boog and Fizz and Amarion. Those were the jams of the day. But you got served the, what is it, Immature, and they turn into uh, IMX. I don't know. I don't know why groups don't get along or put aside their differences for the common ground of wanting to be successful. But, of course, you always have that one artist that wants to go out there and be a solo artist. Which is understandable, because being in a group, sometimes you do have that lead singer that is paid more than the background singers, is what I want to call them. Like, you was kind of Diana Ross and the Supremes. But... It, I don't think it's equal. You don't get that individuality that you need. It's like, okay, people be knowing you. You wearing white, you wearing different colors than me. How come we can't be in unison and wear the same color? No, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, I don't like that. I couldn't be in a group. Power to the people that were in groups and how long they lasted because I couldn't be in a group. Mm -mm. But anyway, I want to get to talking about Vegas. I mean... I don't know, I, I canceled my trip this past March due to COVID, but I'm wondering what is going on with these casinos, like I want to go gamble so bad, I have a little scratch, I got, you know, an itch, I got a scratch, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to play out, I mean, I heard, you know, they're taking their precautions in the casinos, people are still gambling, social distancing and having their masks on and whatnot, but I mean, there's nothing open, I mean, when we, my group goes, we really like to kick it in Drake nightclub and it's nothing really open so I'm hoping 2021 brings some type of normalcy to get back to how we were living within reason and safety taking precautions and measures but it's just not the same it isn't even visiting local beaches and whatnot it's not the same but who knows especially Whoever takes office, I mean, I don't know what the plans are for 2021. So, fingers crossed, people. we got to get back to a level of normalcy. So, especially for these kids and for our adult sanity. But anyway, that's all I have for now. But that's all I have for now. I just wanted to tap in with you guys and say have a blessed week. Please, please drop comments below on topics that you want us to touch on. And don't forget to like and subscribe i mean that's the main reason that we're here we want to get y'all feedback and your interaction so hit that button and tell us the deeds okay have a blessed day Mwah.